Dr. Jessica gave us this assignment to talk with our spouse about us, a person or a place in our past that really shaped the people that we are today. And I'm excited because Keith hasn't really talked about his childhood and his background and like why he behaves the way he does or communicates the way he does. For me, I think uh, it'll probably be my dad because he's coming in this weekend. It's just, uh, you know, things that he did in his past kind of pushed me away from him. But, uh, you know, you only get one dad, so yeah. you gotta kind of take care of him or make sure he's taking care of himself. Uh, growing up, I never knew why my mom and dad were together, but uh, my dad was pretty crazy back then, drinking too much or smoking too much. It was just rough all the time, just, you know, waiting on him to, to come down or more like calm down, I should say. It's like looking at him growing up, it's like, I don't want to be that. Or it's just like, kind of not take the same, the same kind of steps that he took and try to figure my way around stuff. Are these things still in his past or is it like a recurring? You know, I don't know if it's still recurring or not. So we will find out. I can notice if something's up, yeah. but uh, I don't know right now. So we'll see together, I guess. I want to meet his father because it's, he's a part of Keith's life. It really doesn't concern me too much that his father has had abuse problems. I feel like there's someone in every family that has that misstep. But at the end of the day, it's still his father. And we're really integrating and merging and really getting to know each other. And that's a big part. So I feel like we should at least meet. Uh, won't you come, come sit next to me? I have my dad like sit across from us. OK. Today, Christine is meeting my dad for the first time. Couldn't have him at the wedding because it would have caused friction between, you know, my mom and his mom. And, you know, I just wanted everybody to have a good time. And I'm a little scared for him to meet Christine because he's my dad. You only get one dad. So it's kind of important that he actually gets to meet her. What are you looking at? I am looking at the uh, chicken and waffle. Ooh, really? You should, so I can eat some of yours. <laughs> so we're here at the restaurant. We're sitting and we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we realize he probably should have been here a little while ago. Yeah, you want to call him? Sure. Hey, Dad, give me a call. It's Keith. If Keith's dad doesn't show up, I'd be really heartbroken for him. Let me call my grandma. He's probably over there. Yeah, that's weird. I thought he would have been here by now. Yeah, me too. Because you can tell it's something that he's used to, just constantly being let down by him. And I don't like to see him like this because I have so many feelings for him now, and I don't want to see him hurt. Hey, what's up, Mama? All right. Uh, did you talk to my dad? Is he over there? No. Oh, um, do you know if he came in or not? I don't have a slightest idea. No, oh, wow. I had not spoken with him. Sorry. Nah, that's okay. So he just never showed up last night? I don't know. Wow. His father told him he was coming for him, and it was really just a big letdown. But it definitely gives me a lot more insight into Keith and how he grew up. So I'm going to help him get through this the best way I know how, and that's really just being by his side. It's a little frustrating. He's let down. It's not the first time. <sighs> Dad's on the list. I thought I was on there. Nah. No. You worked to get off, though. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why my dad didn't show up. But I do feel like Christine understands my struggle. You know, we've got bigger and better things to work on and look forward to. So I believe she, she's got my back all the way. I'm sorry. It's okay.